We need to stand together. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. In hindsight, I can see why people had problems with this ending. I mean, uh, defeating the alien invaders with sick dance moves? It's a bit odd, tonally speaking. Greetings all. My name is Control. I'm a professional artist, a big fan of old school Marvel and DC Comics, and a big fan of old school Bioware. Yes, Bioware joins Marvel and DC Comics in that I have to specifically indicate when they were great because uh, what they're up to current day isn't hitting the mark so much, at least not for this kid. It's a bit depressing since Mass Effect was my favorite game series of the 360 PS3 era. Mass Effect 2 and 3 were so fantastic they really ruined classic Japanese RPGs for me forever. Never again could I tolerate reading text conversations between characters or deal with sudden random enemy encounters on a seemingly barren terrain. Mass Effect 2 was a huge improvement over 1, and it actually sucked me in almost completely. There was something about Mass Effect 2 in particular that it, it really demanded attention. Something incredibly compelling. Some intangible quality. It just glued my eyes to the screen. Oh, was it the great characters and writing? Yes, that was it. Few games are as much fun to just walk around the levels and converse with your crew or random NPCs. Every character on the screen was always so expertly scripted, I really wanted to hear everything they had to say. Something Mass Effect had in common with Bioware's other big RPG series of the era, Dragon Age, a game we are bound to get to on this channel eventually. Mass Effect always had this awesome sci-fi atmosphere with some beautifully detailed and varied environments and clever creature design work, all tied together with a great soundtrack and top shelf voice acting. The gameplay didn't suck either. It had a pretty smooth cover combat system. It allowed for special attacks and giving commands to powerful party members. Combine this with solid graphics and Mass Effect quickly became my favorite Xbox 360 series. For the completely uninitiated, here is the obligatory breakdown of the premise we're dealing with here from the wiki page. Here we go. Mass Effect largely revolves around a soldier named Commander Shepard whose mission is to save the galaxy from a race of powerful mechanical beings known as the Reapers and their agent, Sovereign. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers exterminated all sentient organic life determined to have met or exceeded a threshold of technological advancement in the galaxy as part of a recurrent cycle of genocide for an unknown purpose. Sovereign is meant to trigger the imminent return of the Reaper fleet hibernating in extragalactic dark space, restarting the process of extermination, beginning with the Collectors, an alien race abducting entire human colonies in a scheme to aid the Reaper's return to the Milky Way. The final game of Shepard's trilogy centers on the war being waged against the Reapers. And no, they are not defeated with sick dance moves. To be honest, I don't exactly remember how the Reapers were defeated. Mello! Uh, okay, so some shiny kid shows up and he lets you choose how you want to smite the Reapers. You can pick blunt head trauma, E. coli poisoning, killer bees, 20 hit combo. Okay, he doesn't remember either, and it's not important right now. What's most memorable about the trilogy's end in Mass Effect 3 was how much flack Bioware got for it. 
Most fans will agree the game overall is brilliant, and actually improves the combat from 2 significantly. Mass Effect 3's infamy comes specifically from its final 15 minutes or so. The finale was judged to be rushed, incoherent, and substandard. Bioware offered up a free downloadable extended ending several weeks later that corrected most of the fans' issues, but some people will continue to bellyache about it for the rest of eternity. For most players though, Mass Effect remained a very popular property, so the series leap onto current gen hardware was hotly anticipated. For me, the continuation of the series was easily my most anticipated game of this generation. Obviously Bioware plus faster hardware equals gaming nirvana. Then Mass Effect Andromeda was finally released. So anyway, EA pulled the plug on the series and never even bothered to remaster the original games. Yay! Mass Effect will live on forever though, in my memories. And in this pinup. Now I know I tend not to talk too much about the art process on this channel, but there's a bit more going on with this drawing than normal, so let's get into it briefly. For gaming pinups, I try to avoid what I call the box art look. You know, the stoic character facing the camera like they're posing for a yearbook photo. This works fine for a video game presentation when the paying customer knows full well they're going to see plenty of a shepherd in action when the shooting starts. My pinups though are a one time only static image. So I like my game drawings to tell a story or at least depict characters in the act of doing something interesting. So I decided a shot of Commander Shepard behind cover being menaced by alien bastards was Mass Effect action in a perfect nutshell. A very low camera angle was required though, if Shep was going to remain the visual focus in the composition, which further demanded my very first use of three point perspective drawing on this channel. Control, why are you always making life difficult? Just draw something simple so you can get back to Netflix. Actually, that's not such a bad idea. Now then, you begin with a simple circle, then draw a pair of triangles for his ears. Look there, we are almost done. Another triangle for the nose, one W, and a pair of circles later, and we've got- Nah, that's not a good look. I can't just start farting out low quality content just to make life easier and attract small children to the channel. High quality content is what my subscribers demand both of them. So, our boy Shepard here. Yeah, I went with boy Shepard. He's facing off with the Collectors, somewhere in the Citadel, I think. I don't remember if this is something that actually happened in-game, but who cares? I was this close to using the Geth anyway. What is important though is you made it to the end. That's the part where you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with everyone you've ever met and possibly those you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. It means more than you know. Next week, we'll be returning to outer space. The very worst part of outer space. Ooh.